emotional, but but we got out with our lives. The Reardons are thankful they got out of their Fort McMurray home in time. They're now waiting for family in Anzac to join them. It's just the main thing. We drove through the bar to get here. Hundreds of others pulling into Edmonton this morning. Bus from evacuation centers up north after fire threatened those two. But it was close enough that we could actually see the globe. And uh, once we were all settled in and, and, and loaded on the buses, we just headed out here. More than a thousand evacuees are staying here overnight. Northland's preparing to offer its entire facility. By the end of the week, uh, we'll be at capacity here where we could uh, provide uh, group lodging for 5,500 people. Many of those people left their homes on a moment's notice, unprepared for the days ahead. We need clothes, <laughs> toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant. Just, we just took what, well, you don't really think right when you're grabbing stuff. Cameron Innes had a few hours to pack up his trailer. Got two pugs, a cat, my wife and son. His bicycle, a bunch of clothes. His family now parked at a lot in Edmonton, unsure where their next stop might be. We're just kind of wondering what to do. We've never been in a situation like this before. All right, let's bring in Ashley Reinhardt. She's currently going back and forth between Edmonton and other areas that need donations and supplies. She joins us today from Edmonton. Ashley, uh, tell me what it's been like for you going back and forth. It's been really interesting. It's been amazing to see how much Edmonton, Alberta as a whole, has been able to come together to support the people that really, truly need it. Um, it's heart-wrenching. It's hard to um, to be there to witness everything that's kind of going on, but at the same time, it's so fulfilling to be able to be on site and really help those people. What are you hearing from people when you stop off to deliver donations? A lot of people are surprised that it's there for them. They don't want to take much because they feel like it's too much. Um, but the, you can see the look of gratitude on their faces when they see that all, all of these items are there specifically for them because we know that they have nothing. Um, they're incredibly grateful. And who have you been getting the donations from? A lot of the ones that I've been getting personally have been coming from friends and family. Um, I run a childcare program in Edmonton and we've had a few of our families who have stepped up to the plate and either given us cash donations so we can go shopping for items or been able to drop items off. Um, today it's been just a lot of strangers. Um, the unique thing I think today was that even people from Fort McMurray are donating for us to bring things back up. I know you've been going straight uh, for a day or two, so what's your plan for the next couple of days? I don't know. I don't have a plan. Um, it's it's very much up in the air. We weren't sure if we were going to be going back today or not. Uh, we got back home this morning at 8.30, had enough time to quickly wash up, catch a few catch a few moments of sleep, and then we're back up on the north end of Edmonton to get more supplies to head back out again to, um, if we're going to Lac La Biche tonight. Are you amazed by the, the spirit uh, of giving everybody seems to have at these times? My faith in humanity has definitely been restored. Um, it's amazing how much we've come together to bring items together for other people, to support it any way that we can. Um, people who can't afford it are helping in any way that they possibly can. Um, nothing is ever too little. It's, it's really amazing to see. Ashley Reinhardt is joining us. She's been going back and forth to deliver goods to those who really don't have much because they have to clear out of their homes. Ashley, thanks for your time. You're very welcome. Take care. You too. As we head to break, we leave you with another look at Fort McMurray. Some dramatic images captured as people abandoned their homes to escape this, the wildfires. Back in the home.